think backing up a little bit, I think what we've been seeing over the last two years, actually two months, has been uh, unprecedented in terms of the overall market volatility and the overall concerns and the way assets have been behaving. If you think prior to what we experienced in the moments of moving into COVID, which was a groundbreaking moment in history, where we saw a global pandemic and that impact on financial markets, we were signaling at the World Gold Council that markets seemed very, very frothy, high risk and, and, and uncertainty around their ability to maintain that high level of valuation. We also signaled that the complexities of what had been developing around monetary policy and fiscal stimulus were proving to be very, very challenging for central banks around the globe. That coupled with geopolitical risks and tensions around Europe, the EU, uh, China, the U.S., all played into a wall of worry and concerns that we had around how the markets were going to operate. You take into consideration supply chain issues, re, uh, re, repricing of risk assets, and all the net effects of what's played out with COVID. And into 2022, the uh, Russian invasion of Ukraine, you're starting to find that supply chain issues, uh, the ability for people to understand the implications of monetary policy, how it's going to be managed in these worlds of, of change is very complex. So we're seeing increased levels of volatility, markets sell off in risk assets, and actually assets like gold, true safe haven assets, proving to be a valuable asset that gets added to a portfolio and gives you stability, a better return profile, and a lower real volatility profile in your portfolio. So gold's unique amongst commodities. Commodities tend to do well in times of inflation, but gold actually stands out amongst them. Now, it actually is an asset will lag, will, that will lag a little bit as it starts to show its strength in a time of inflation. But overall, savings and actually the accumulation of gold as a safe haven asset do play out and do provide that edge against an increasing cost environment, an inflationary environment. I think the other thing to add that's important about gold in these types of market environments with inflation, as we see attempts at monetary policy to be used to pull things off or to actually deal, dial back the economy, what you'll find is gap risk that we've never seen before. And that's where gold performs exceptionally well. Its drawdown protection in those moments is exceptional. And unfortunately, flatlining right now in terms of year-to-date performance, but exactly what you want in a market where equities are off plus 20, 25%, and every risk asset that you can think of is having price concerns. So number one, US dollar strength. We also see a flock to certain types of uh, treasury instruments like TIPS, for example. These inflationary type investments and gold are actually performing as they should. So you're starting to see people flock to those assets. The digital assets in the form of cryptocurrencies are proving to be a little less effective. And I'm being polite about that. Sure. Uh, as an inflation hedge or store of value, or for that matter, a means of payment or money. And I think they're interesting technologies that underpin all of them, but really trying to understand how to own them in today's environment you need to think more long risk assets. But when you come back to the stable asset portfolios or the store of value assets, you're going to see these playing a significant role in people's portfolios for the next five years for sure. This is a complicated financial market we're in. Monetary fiscal policy is going to be very challenging to manage, and things will continue to cause gap downs in the market. That's why those types of assets, gold, dollars, Treasury tips will be the kind of assets that complement portfolios, ranging anywhere from 3 to 10% in an allocation. Trust and traceability are the areas where technology is going to really help the gold market in the short term. The World Gold Council is working with other members in the gold market, like the LBMA and participants, to start working on gold bullion integrity. We're driving an agenda that brings better trust, more transparency, using blockchain technology to trace and source kilo bars and ultimately roll into the broader market in general. Those actions plus other technological advancements that could come off the back of work we're doing in the industry will actually increase the overall demand for gold and give people a higher level of confidence and more use cases for consumption of gold.